Oh, wait. It's way more interesting than I expected. There's a Pyrex. It is. That's Pyrex right there. Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifty. This is Mid-Century Wasting. Hello everyone, welcome to Mid-Century Wasted. I'm Jamie and this is Sundays at Sears, my weekly series where every Sunday I flip through about 50 more pages of the 1960 Sears Summer Sale Catalog. Okay everyone, here's where we left off last week, you know, with the toilets. At least it wasn't crotches though, right? I'm hoping this is going to mean we're going to have some home decor type stuff, but I don't know. So let's see what's next. Okay, well, we're still in home improvement, I suppose. We're in uh, hot water heaters. Looks like we got some hot water heaters over here. What is this exactly? Jet pump? Save 10 to $19. Our best jet pump with fittings. Mark II convertible for shallow or deep well use. Self priming at all depths for dependable service. What is this though? What are we dealing with here? Here's a piston pump. There's a cellar drainer. This must be for things that occur in old homes in places other than Southern California because I don't know what any of these things are. Why would you need a pump? Provides 50% more pressure than regular jet pumps. Assures water at all faucets. Well jets. Okay, so this is if you're is this if you're on well water? Is that what we're talking about here? I just don't know. Okay, automatic glass lined water heaters, cut 10 to $15, Homart Electrics. Delivered and installed for a nominal charge. Flexo pipe, well there's your piping. I mean, I gotta think that $62.95 for a 30 gallon water heater is probably a decent price. <laughs> now, I don't know what that converts to in nowadays money, but can you imagine if you get a brand new water heater for less than 65 bucks? <laughs> That'd be pretty great. All right, more home improvement. We're looking at heating now, I see. Homart complete heating systems for gas or oil. See, this is definitely getting into Home Depot or Lowe's territory here, which I guess Sears was on that kind of level. I mean, we've got the whole ductworks and everything for gas or oil. That's serious home remodeling stuff going on here. Here's some wall heaters. Now I am familiar with these. This is something you will see in Southern California where I live. Our last couple apartments have had wall heaters and no central heat or air. That's just kind of common here because you don't really have air conditioning in most places. So when they were building the houses in the 60s or 70s maybe depending, yeah, they just didn't put in central ductwork or anything because it's a very temperate climate here at the beach and you don't normally need it. But those little wall heaters kind of scare me I always kind of got freaked out turning it on on the cold days in winter, but you know, thankfully it only gets down to like the 40s here at night most most of the time. Every now and then it'll dip into the high 30s and you kind of freeze your took us off, but anyway, moving on. Ooh, okay. All right, all right. Now we're getting into kitchens. We're seeing some kitchen remodels happening here. Now again, this is 1960. So let's keep that in mind. So we're looking at a kitchen here. Eight foot cabinet sink with sink. <laughs> okay. Fittings and countertop, $142.50. And then complete outfit with eight foot cabinet sink and two wall cabinets, $176. So we had vertical grain fur door and drawer fronts, semi assembled with basic framing already put together. Instructions for assembling, finishing, installing included. Plus chrome plated hardware, nails and glue. Wow, it even came with the nails and the glue. Go figure. And then the sink was a 32 by 20 inch white porcelain enameled steel sink with chrome plated brass faucet, pull out spray, two basket strainers and sink rim. Plastic on wood core top. Okay, so we're talking like a laminate here in pearl design, sunshine yellow, light dawn gray, cherry red, 
Also fleck design, black and gold on white. I love me some, <laughs> some old Formica, <laughs> obviously. And here we've got some sinks, $50, $35, no money down because you can charge it. Sink outfits, 60 inch sizes, cut $10. Got $35, $40, $70, you know, different sizes, different options. And here's all of your different uppers and lower cabinets and all the different sizes, all the different everything. I mean, you could fully just remodel your kitchen from the Sears catalog back then. Go figure. Hmm, okay. I've seen these types of sinks before where the whole top is sort of the same material as the sink here. Our best 66 inch steel sink. It's very, very um, industrial looking. Roomy compartments for pots, pans, dishwashing supplies. Enjoy the convenience of this big, beautiful Harmony House cabinet sink in your kitchen now. And then we also have down here, a Kenmore garbage disposal with fast action, non-rusting stainless steel cutting disc. Top of the line. Well, maybe not. It was Kenmore. Kenmore was, was good back then though, wasn't it? Wasn't Kenmore like pretty quality? Or was that kind of run of the mill? I don't really know. Save $15. Kenmore portable dishwasher. Well, look at that. Portable too. You could have this just floating around in your kitchen somewhere. I just hooked it up to the water line. Yep, yep, right to the sink. See if you can see that picture real good there. Plugged it in right next to the sink with a, I'm sure not up to code socket right next to the sink. Looks like you connected the water line to it and then there's the little drain spout that hung over there too. Can you even imagine? I wonder how many Pyrex bowls were ruined in something like this. Oh, 1960, if only you knew better. Oh gosh, we are really getting into all the home improvement. We got fiberglass insulation here too. Oh, so very itchy. Look, there's a loose stuff too. Do they even make that anymore? Or you just pour it out and throw it around and just be itchy for the rest of your life. Look at that. Fiberglass cuts heating and cooling costs up to 30%. In bags, easy to install pour form. In rolls, form a moisture tight seal. I'll take rolls. Roll up steel garage door for 50 bucks, 51.95. All right, pre-hung aluminum storm screen door. Fully assembled, install it yourself in just 30 minutes. Adjust easily for out of square openings. Yeah, no home was square back then. I can attest to living in a home that was built in 1963, my entire childhood. Nothing was square ever, not even close. Three track aluminum storm screen windows. That's something I've only heard of. <laughs> we don't have storm windows here. We don't have storms. It never rains. So here we have a diagram. How to measure an order. Important. First tell us which style window you have. Then give us measurements requested below. You can have Western style or New England style. Oh, I see. Western style window unit. Mounts on blind stops. New England style unit mounts on exterior window casing. I can't say that I understand that really. It's quite confusing for me. More home remodeling, home improvement. Apparently Sears is the home improvement superstore. Custom made aluminum screens priced lower than our wood screens. All screens shipped prepaid. Prepaid, what does that mean? She is far too happy and enthusiastic about installing that screen herself. And how exactly, how exactly does she get that in there if she's doing it from the inside? Hmm. Not really sure about that one. I've never been good at screens. Again, lots of instructions, just lots of technical information that frankly, I'm impressed if the lowly 1960 housewife is able to even comprehend all of this, but I suppose railings and columns, this is the part of the catalog intended for the man because of, you know, the sexism. Um, but yeah, there you go. You can get a whole stair railing at Sears. Here's the home art 
Jalouise windows with screen. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Jalouise. Okay. Sounds like my Swedish great grandma saying, yes, Louise. Ja Louise. Ja, ja, ja Louise. Oi, 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 oi. Completely weather stripped. Prices slashed again. And, you know, look at them enjoying their nice little sunroom or enclosed porch or whatever this may be. Here's some jack posts. <laughs> because what better way to jack up your house or, you know, support an unstructured basement cavity than a jack post from Sears. I'm sure nothing ever collapsed once you had that rightfully installed. Here's aluminum box type eaves trow and rain pipe. So gutters, right? Yeah, those are gutters. Cool. Oak block tile. Oh, interesting. So we got a little prefab hardwood, but tile style. So we're talking almost like a parquet here or, hmm. Tile cement, order with tile and get spread out. No extra charge, so they would really install it like tile, but it's oak. Whew, boy. At least that doesn't happen anymore. Oh, <laughs> speaking of something that doesn't happen anymore, there is the ever lovely vinyl asbestos tile. Okay, don't skip ahead, Jamie. I'm getting too excited. <laughs> Woo! Gotta love me my asbestos tiles. Okay. Our finest plastic wall tile. Oh, good. We got plastic tile too. Oh, the quality. Okay. Let's see some colors here. What colors did these come in? Six colors. Capri blue, Harmony House dawn gray, frosty pink, light mint green, sunshine yellow, and parchment beige i want to find like a salesman sample book with little bits of every one of those colors please that would be amazing oh they don't make colors like they used to uh, everything's just white now white everything here's some acoustical ceiling tile i grew up with this on the ceiling of every single classroom I ever had growing up. I mean, I think I'm going to say all the way even through college. I'm pretty sure I know for a fact this was in my high school and elementary school, middle school, for sure. I think it was probably in college too. And here's a lady just looking longingly through a strange curtain doorway for absolutely no reason, has nothing to do with anything on that page. Now, here we are with the asbestos tiles. Home art, floor tile, beauty that will last for years. And it most certainly will because you see a lot of people finding that in their basements and underneath hardwood floor and all sorts of stuff. Let's just take a moment to admire the lamp in the background. You know, I'm gonna just kind of ogle all of this. Ooh, the pattern on that curtain is pretty fabulous as well. And I love how she's just lounging casually on some floor pillows, probably reading the Sears catalog and just admiring her asbestos floor. Now, just so you know, asbestos tile is safe-ish if you leave it alone. What becomes problematic is when you're removing it or if it's damaged and you're tearing it apart, ripping it out, and then the particles get into the air and you breathe it in. Obviously that's when it becomes <laughs> a problem. This one has the terrazzo pattern to it. If you can afford real terrazzo, that is vastly superior than this stuff. Choice of colors. This one came in brown with pink, aqua, charcoal, brown and pale gold chips or black with white and gray chips. Beige with white, aqua, tan, pink, green, pale gold and brown. That's a lot of colors inside that beige or white with black and gray. This one, the super asbestos kind, choice of five decorated colors, so that's a lot. We got light gray with brown and black chips, boring. Beige with brown, white, beige, and black chips, boring. Sage green with Malibu coral and sunshine yellow, that sounds like a winner. Off white with black chips, cork 
design in cork color. That one's all right too. I kind of like that. This side, we got six decorator colors. We've got parchment beige with fed gold, parchment brown. Sounds boring. White with mint green and charcoal accent chips. That has potential. Off white with spice brown, charcoal, and light gray. Boring. White with cherry red and charcoal accent chips. Ooh, that might be cool. Light mint green with dark mint green and white chips. Winner, winner. Dawn gray with charcoal and white accent chips. Boring. Well, I'm hearing a lot of mint green. I'm hearing a lot of stuff that would probably look amazing with my cracked ice for mica table. And once again, I wish I had a time machine. Now we've got paint. We've got Sirocco latex base flat paint. We've got white, shell pink, sunshine yellow, dawn gray, spice beige, horizon blue, and mint green. Again, all kind of the same colors we've been hearing. And it was $2.85 per gallon when you buy two or more gallons. What a deal. And here's your paint sprayer. Sprayer accessories combination offer. Sprayer only $79.95 with all the accessories. It's only $2 more. Look at that. You have a viscosimeter. 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 I'm guessing that's to test viscosity. <laughs> Two inch brush, masking tape, air chuck, drop cloth, steel bucket, and quart of tur turpentine? No, turpoline. Whew, words are hard. Stays bright white and stain free. New one coat house paint with chlorowax. White houses keep the tradition of our great American heritage alive. Are we serious with this? Oh my lord. Now Sears offers you a better one coat paint of purest white to protect that tradition. Exciting new Formula 70 with chloral wax owns remarkable protective qualities, saves time, money, and sets a new standard for whiteness. Well, Sears, if nothing else, you have proven with these catalogs that you do set the new standard for whiteness. Oh, yes, you do. Nearly a decade of exposure testing has proved that you'll get longer lasting paint than we have ever offered before. And then here's all the provided benefits and the reasons, the science behind those benefits. There's your, your undercoat for bare wood. I'm assuming that means primer. Four gallon case plus four inch brush only $27.95. Home improvement was a thing back then. Oh boy, was it ever. Lowest prices ever on lawn edging. Well, how exciting is this? Look at that, that beautiful trim around the tree and the lawn and everything. Keeps everything super tidy and perfect. It's almost like a utopia. And here's some attractive wood garden fences and easy to store steel folding fence. A one and a half gallon compressed air sprayer, what every man needs, and a hose sprayer for fertilizers and insecticides. I'm riveted right now. Now, this is getting a little more interesting, I'm sure, for Vespa motorcycle type people. Here's the Allstate Cruise Air Plus kit. This is a scooter, and it was $324.95. Does it tell us what color it was? That's what I want to know. I always just want to know the color of things. Lustrous Cruise Air Blue Enamel Finish. So it was blue. How nice. And over here is the Allstate 10 Horsepower Cycle. They're not calling it a motorcycle. They're just calling it a cycle plus kit. And you get the snazzy little riding gloves and helmet and goggles and motorcycle jacket. And then here's our lowest priced moped we've ever offered. There's your moped for you. Now look at this. Here's a fun little note. License note. Check local laws, age, etc. Sears sends papers for vehicle license and title. Send us the name you wish to have appear on the title. So potentially some of these probably were allowed to be written by like kids without normal driver's licenses or motorcycle licenses. That's what I'm reading from that. Okay. We're definitely getting into the automotive section here. Here's batteries. And I'm sorry, but like all of this technical crap about batteries could not bore me anymore. So we're moving straight on to the next page. Here's seats for, oh, seat covers. Okay, okay. 
not as weird. We're not implying that you should just rip the entire seat out of your car, but instead here are the covers for your car. Now the patterns on these are oh so very 60s. Check those out. I mean, it kind of is like almost a diner look in a way. Here's the clear plastic cover for everyone who had the plastic on their sofa inside the house. You need the plastic on the car seat inside the car. Now with two little kids, I could kind of see how maybe that would be a good idea, but we do have leather seats, so they wipe up pretty clean. And that's really the only reason I wanted to get leather seats was for that same reason. Um, okay, well, here's one of those like roof racks <laughs> for the top of the car. That's kind of fun looking. And some different types of like bars and carriers and luggage compartments and things for the top of your car. Oh, look at this. A set of four Allstate futuristic shock absorbers. <laughs> futuristic shocks for your car which I don't understand. Like here's all of the makes and models of cars that'll fit on the 56 Buick, Cadillac, Chevy, except the Corvette, Chrysler, Desol, is that what D-E-S stands for? An Impala, all models, Dodge, Plymouth, Ford, station wagon, all models, Mercury, Oldsmobile, Pontiac, Rambler and a Studebaker. Those shocks will work with all of those types of cars because cars didn't have shocks. <laughs> I guess you just added them on aftermarket. Now, what kind of bleak, tragic, horrid accidents are we looking at here? We've got a car rolled over, presumably a dead body being hauled away, a less than bothered, I'm assuming investigator <laughs> in a trench coat, don't let an accident take away your driver's license. If you do not have enough auto liability insurance, you may be required to deposit thousands of dollars after an accident to prove you can pay for damage and injuries to others. Or your driver's license is taken away. Look at how that's italicized right there. Very important. But you need no deposit and your license is protected when you get enough all state auto liability insurance. Send for rates today. Talk about fear fear-based advertising here. Holy moly, that's bleak. Look at that. I wonder what would happen if I sent a letter to that address. I wonder if Allstate is still there. Uh, tires. Here's for people who care about tires. I'll get nice and close for you to look at the stuff about the tires that I don't care about at all. If you're into tires, Go ahead and pause the video and and get all all in on all of this good interesting tire information that I am not possibly going to go through and read because nothing could possibly bore me more than tires. Now let's see, let's turn the page. I may be completely wrong. Oh, more tires. Nothing will bore me more than tires except more tires. Now those at least are white wall tires. So that's somewhat fun to look at. Tyrex, that's like Pyrex tires, I think. Surely that's what that is. Our lowest price ever for all state tires guaranteed 20 months. That doesn't seem like that's very long for a tire. 20 months? Again, tire garbage. I mean, information. There you go. Sears Tire Center. Oh God, more tires for the love of God. All right, more tires. If you really want to know anything about these tires, you can send me an email. Okay, well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe an auto tiller is actually less interesting to me than tires. Well, no, I mean, this at least has some redeeming qualities, I suppose. I mean, I like a, I like a good tilled yard. Here's some, some blades. There's your roto spaders. Here's your electric tiller and cultivator. I, I don't even really know what this is. I'm calling it a tiller, but it's actually a roto spader. Who the heck knows what that's all about? And here we got, you got your tractors. This is definitely something you're not gonna see much of in Southern California. I mean, except for maybe like mowing a field at a school or something. Definitely not in uh, neighborhoods. There's some 
tractor info for the tractor people. Now I will say from a graphic design standpoint, we are in some, some two color pages. We've got black and red going on here. So they sprung for a little extra bucks in this section of the catalog. Ooh, chainsaws, cool. Definitely not massacrist at all. $169.88, that's, I wouldn't wanna pay that much for a chainsaw right now. I guess chainsaws are expensive. Cut in any position without twisting, binding, or stalling. Free home demonstration. That's what I want. I want some underpaid dude from Sears coming over and demonstrating a chainsaw at my house for me. That doesn't say murder all over it. Um, save five to 20% on these farm book items. What does that mean exactly? Farm book items. I'm seeing saddles and that's a nest? What, like for chickens? Uh, save 10% on Cleansaid products? Don't know what that's all about. This is all farm stuff. Free, send today for your 1960 farm book. So there's a whole separate catalog just for farm stuff that they're advertising here. How very interesting, I did not know that. Oh good, fencing and some cute drawings here. I love that they're playing croquet. That's adorable. While well, mom is gardening and waving at the neighbors, probably letting them know just exactly how happy and well-rounded of a family they are. There's a, just a lovely little ranch style home, 1960. And then here's your nice chain link fence. Frame your house and grounds in gay color. New chain link outfits with top rail and imported colorful plastic coated fabric. Fabric covered chain link. I've never heard of that before. And here's your imported woven picket galvanized lawn fence. And yeah, more chain link fencing type stuff. These pages have so much information, like it just technical specs and everything. It is definitely the trying times of this catalog for me right now. Anyone who's sticking through it, oh boy. I hope it all pays off. There's gotta be something better than this coming up soon. Foot fencing, more fencing. There you go. We're gonna start blasting through this. Now we've got siding. Here's aluminum siding. Yep. There's literally nothing to say about any of this other than I'm sure it was cheaper back then. And I still can't believe how much of this stuff is actually in the Sears catalog. Okay, now we're getting into the inside of the house with some mopping and vacuuming, so that's promising. Here's some more fencing, first of all. Some rails, some stockade, and picket. Now, I do like the lawn furniture that's in that picture. Now we're starting to get into something here, and the pool looks good. Okay, okay. I'm getting fired up again here. It scrubs, it sweeps, it dusts. It slices, it dices, it'll mow your lawn and make your bed in the morning. By God, you cannot live without this product. Water and detergent released by Toe Touch Control. Move unit back and forth for easy action scrubbing. Hands never touch the water. Oh, what a revolutionary product. Electric floor cleaner. It's slashed, the Kenmore mixer. Now at the lowest price in our history, you can buy this improved Kenmore combination that serves as a bowl mixer, hand mixer, juicer, and food grinder. Oh, here we go, it chops. Meat grinder, food chopper, attaches directly into built-in power drive, no adapters necessary. There's the juicer. Spout fills glass right from the juicer, gets important C vitamin. Gets important C vitamins from citrus fruits. Okay, it rubs the lotion on the skin. Uh, hand mixer, head lifts right off stand, converts all your pots and pans into mixing bowls. Absolutely a necessity in every woman's kitchen. And it was only 20 bucks, 19.99. Here's your extra heavy chef quality aluminum ware. Heats quickly and evenly and stays hot. Perfect for waterless cooking. Extra heavy weight with snug fit covers. Made of rolled aluminum, won't dent, warp, rust, or pit. Sparkling finish. And over here, here's your pressure cooker. I'm sure that never exploded in anyone's house ever. Cut $4.69 to $5. Was $26.66, $6.66. Now $21.97, was $24.77, now $19.77. Bargains, bargains, bargains. 
We've got 11 piece stainless steel cookware set, slotted spoon, basting spoon, pot fork, hamburger turner, pancake turner, narrow spatula, soup ladle, potato masher, six hook rack, and eight hook rack, not shown. And then more pots, stainless steel priced low for a lifetime of easy care cooking. All right, now we're getting into laundering. We've got the drying racks that go in your, your lawn, go in your yard, loving that, loving everything about it including the drawing itself with the cute little ladies having lunch out in the back there. Here's the ever important ironing table. You didn't call it an ironing board. It was an ironing table with the cover pad. And there's the silicone asbestos pad and cover. Wow, I didn't know asbestos was in the ironing board pads. That's something to look out for at a at an older house or an estate sale or something. Beware of the asbestos pads on the ironing boards. Yikes. Learn something scary and new every day. Here's 125 feet of wash line in 25 feet of space. It's 25 feet long and there's five lines. Get it? Get it? Math. Unbreakable plastic garbage cans. What do you want to bet? Pretty sure they broke. Every single one broke. It was plastic. Plastic deteriorates over time and every old plastic I've ever seen is very brittle and very easy to break. Low prices on portable laundry tubs. Okay, we put the laundry in there. It fills up with water. It's some sort of wash tub. I don't totally get it. I guess it's for just hand washing things. And then here's some, some trash cans on a little cart. That's kind of new. How handy is that? Can't say I've ever seen one of those before. What a fun idea. Everything was just about making life so easy for these people in 1960. Oh, look at the refrigerator freezers. These are somewhat boring looking when you think of like the ones from the 50s though. It's a little disappointing, but maybe they were in cool colors. Eh, nope, I'm seeing white. So we've come to the era of just sort of plain white boring refrigerators but at least this one does have like a cool font and a little like starburst kind of symbol on it or atomic i don't know kind of looks like a atom or something yeah a little a little disappointing but what's inside that fridge my god it's one of those things with the with all the little toothpicks sticking out of it with random little bits of meat and cheese and olives and look at that that looks like a Pyrex juice carafe right there. And that, that looks like a Pyrex friggy inside the fridge. Oh, wait, it's way more interesting than I expected. There's a Pyrex. It is. That's Pyrex right there. I can tell just from the pattern. That is an Amish butter print casserole. Can't think of the number off the top of my head, but that is definitely an Amish butter print Pyrex in the fridge. Nothing fun in the freezer. I want to like just cut this picture out and frame it now because it's got Pyrex in it. That's how insane I am. And now here's just your plain old freezer. We have never sold any frostless freezers for less than $300, but look at that. Now it's $259.95. That's a frostless freezer. That was probably kind of new technology, right? One that you didn't have to defrost every now and then. Look, there's vanilla ice cream down there. There's no Pyrex in the freezer. What have we here? You could even buy your aluminum foil and freezer wrap and stuff, plastic bags. All right, here's a canister set. Heavy gauge polyethylene containers. No, they don't say like coffee or anything like that on it. Cold, they say cold spot on them. Ideal for wet or dry foods. Won't crack or shatter. Reasonable bottom cleats provide firm stacking. Press on lids. Colored container reduced. Sorted colors, yellow, red, blue, and green. Cartons with liner bags and quick closure Maripack bags. Don't know what that is. Extra heavy weight pail packs made of sturdy white cardboard, paraffin wax coated inside and out. Oh, oh, I see. I think we're talking about like fast food container type stuff here. We're talking about leftovers? I think we are. Every price reduced on plastic bags. <laughs> Okay. When your order for items on these two pages totals $10 or more, deduct 10%. This saving is in addition to the many price cuts on individual items. Does not apply to freezer supply kit below. Oh. Freezer basket, pie plates, divider dinner trays, 
freezer bag filler, frost liner kit, cold spot ascorbic mixer, I don't know what that means, frost scraper, thermometer, ice cream scoop, marking pen and label set, magnetic marking pencil. Over here is your freezer wrap and it's laboratory tested. Amazing. Science. Wrap tape combination and a freezer booklet. Tells how to select, prepare, package food for freezing, how to prepare many new recipes for, for the freezer, plus information on packing materials. I'm guessing that because maybe the freezers now, you could get a full-size freezer that didn't frost over and have to be defrosted, people would be using freezing more back then. Is that an interesting thought? I don't know. I don't know if that's, if that's right or not, but there's the thought. And then there's the whole kit with various pieces of all that in one low low price mm. here we go all right we're vacuuming in what could only be described as an evening dress with sensible heels oh no we're not even vacuuming we're polishing are we polishing a floor here yes scrubs and polishes all floors shampoos rugs we are polishing a floor in heels and in evening or cocktail dress with full makeup. I barely put that much makeup on if I am going to a wedding. Here's the Kenmore one and one third horsepower dual fan cleaner. Dual fans practically double the suction for faster, more effective cleaning. And then there's all of your snazzy attachments there. And here's the amazing Kenmore sewing machines. Kenmore automatic zigzag sewing machines. Look at the graphics we got going on here. We are taking liberties left and right with the fonts. Here's beautiful embroidery without attachments, beautiful monogramming without attachments, finely stitched buttonholes, again, without attachments, and straight stitching, darning, mending quickly and easy. Let's look at the closed up outside of these pieces of furniture. If I saw one of these somewhere, I'd probably buy it just for the way the furniture looks with those skinny tapered legs. Yes, please. Kind of like it. Not that I sew, which I don't, but that would be a pretty fun sewing machine to have. Ooh, check out this range. She is so proud of that. Look at the display of the arms and just loaded with casseroles and pies. Are we looking at more Pyrex in here? I mean, I think we got some of the basic ones. That is shaped like a Pyrex for sure, but it looks like there's no pattern on it. Whew. Lady Kenmore, cut $50, 36 inch gas range, $269.95. Set the clock and leave. How's that for a sales pitch? Set the clock and leave. Dinner will be cooked and ready to serve when you come home. Got it. Automatic shut off is what we're talking about here. So you really could set the clock and leave without burning your house down. Fry without grease on the range top griddle. Ooh, that's fun. Nothing like a range top griddle. Over here, we've got the Lady Kenmore. I love how they have to put lady in front of it. No man is allowed anywhere near a kitchen. Get out of there, men. This is for ladies. This is the Lady Kenmore. It's the automatic electric range. No thanks. Not a fan of electric ranges. Give me my open flame. Watch your baking through the Visabake door. Was that a new thing, really? Let's do a Pyrex scan here real quick. Um, I mean, it might be some of the glass Pyrex, but it's looking pretty plain. Here we got like a whole, I don't know, slab of animal baking away. Uh, not as exciting as the stuff that I found in the fridge, but it's okay. Holy shamoly. Now we're talking and we're almost done here for today. We've got just, I'm going to go to like one more page after this. I'm kind of going over my 50 page allotment, but I have to make up for the fact that the catalog doesn't end on an even 50 count so you get a couple extra pages today and boy am i glad that we did because look at that stunning example of 1960 television technology and full-blown mid-century modern design i could not be more happy right now and i could not want one of those in my house more than i do <laughs> right now oh mahogany finish or blonde all channel tuning 
Woo. Thrilling twin speaker sound, alive and vibrant, with big console tone throughout your room. Channels change with a feather touch. <laughs> Look at her changing the channel. Look at that. Woo. $179.95. Somebody do the math. What does that equate to in today's money? Because that couldn't have been cheap. Could not. And here's your little more basic, <laughs> although still pretty expensive, rolling TV. I guess maybe that was just a, like a fancy feature back then. Had a rolling base. I'm not seeing color TVs, by the way. These are black and white. 17 inch portable TV. Perfect for the garage. Lightweight, easy to carry, weighs only 30 pounds. It's only 30 pounds. It's easy to carry. Sling it over your shoulder, no problem. Color light gray or light beige. All channel was light gray only. And then down here, we've got some little portable phonographs. Plays all your records, all four speeds, two four inch speakers, volume control for each. Second speaker moves up to 15 feet away for realism. Clips on front for carrying. <laughs> Two tubes and rectifier. Wonder how those sound, Blake. Record snob. Radio stereo phonograph doubles your entertainment. Take your choice, records or radio. Sounds terrific any way you listen to the smart luggage look portable. Play all your records automatically on the precision Centronic changer. I didn't know what that means. Okay then. And that was beige and white leatherette. This one was dark green and white leatherette case. And this one was white and blue case. I would love to see those in color. All right, I am calling this the last page and we're into radios. Oh, so cool. So, so cool. I know some people have whole like shelves of collections of these old little transistor radios and things. Here's a cordless transistor clock radio plays anywhere, bedroom or beach. Heck yes. This one was, there was a brown, ivory, coral, or ice blue. Ooh, I would love to see that in ice blue. This one here was an ivory or ice blue. This one, also really cool looking. Tube type clock radio. Brown, ivory, or ice blue. Oh, I want that. Price slashed, $149.90. What is this? Stereo tape recorder. Oh, it's like a reel to reel. Yes, of course. There you go, Blake. Here's a Sears 1960 reel to reel. Yep, there you go. And last page, more transistor radios. Here's one of those fun little pocket ones. New and tiny, 1895, black or mint green. Ooh, I want the mint green one. This one, hear big set sound from your pocket. Save $6, six transistors. Low priced plastic five transistor set. That was $22.50 and it came in black, coral, or ice blue. I want all these ice blue ones. Ooh, powerful luggage style, six transistor set. Looks like it had leather wrapped all around it. Tan or gray. And then lastly, here is the long range, seven transistor luggage type. Again, with leather wrapped around it. So, woo, I'm gonna admit, this one was a little bit of a struggle to get through. When we're in all of that fencing and home improvement tools and tires, but I'm pretty confident that we're into the good stuff now. So thank you everyone for watching. Tune in next week for another 50 or so pages of the 1960 Sears summer catalog. Thank you to everyone who is in the chat, wishing me well and chatting along with me. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye everyone.